Hello. Welcome to School of Medicines. I hope you all doing great. Have a nice day. Guys as you know in the last lecture we discussed the following topics which you can see on the screen. In today lecture we will discuss. Foods helping us in the hemophilia. Nutrition of hemophilia. Foods should to use and avoid during hemophilia. So. Be prepare yourself, watch the video till the end. Let's start. Nutrition of hemophilia. There are almost 13 types of clotting factors that play an important role in the clotting of blood in case of bleeding. There is no special diet for people with hemophilia however eating well and maintaining a healthy weight is important. The major problems caused by obesity are putting more pressure and tension on your joints, leads to chronic diseases like diabetes and high blood pressure, and replacement of blood clotting factor called 8 becomes more difficult. If you have hemophilia, you should to control your weight to prevent bleeding from joints and to make it easy finding veins. A recent study found that young boys and teenagers with hemophilia were twice as likely to be overweight, which can cause potential health problems later in life. Not only can being overweight cause additional health problems, but it can make it difficult to find veins for infusions. Now, learn different foods which helps us to minimize the risks. What to eat? In hemophilia, there is no special diet plan however a good diet full of vitamins and minerals is very necessary for hemophilia patients. Number 1. Try to use good fats instead of bad fats such as those derived from olive oil or canola oil. Saturated fats raise HDL, the good, cholesterol and change LDL from small, dense, bad, to large LDL, which is mostly benign. Overall, saturated fats do not harm the blood lipid profile as previously believed. The next one. Number 2. Increase the intake of vegetables and fruits e.g. dark leafy greens vegetables, orange fruits and other fruits are important as sources of vitamins and minerals. These fruits and vegetables provides fiber, which help with intestinal health. These fruits and vegetables are the blessing of God. Many researches says they can treat the disease up to 35%. Eat healthy and be healthy. The next one. Numer 3. Increasing your whole grain intake and making half of your grain consumption come from oats, barley, whole wheat, bran, brown rice, or pasta is a good way to satiate your appetite, lower your cholesterol, and stabilize your blood glucose levels. The appetite suppressing drugs works best for obesity and overweight. Only eat healthy foods and enjoy your life. Now the next one is. Choosing baking, boiling, or grilling instead of frying to cook lean meats, like poultry and fish, avoid frying or using heavy gravies, sauces, and toppings, which are full of calories. With excess frying, the vitamins and minerals are wasted. Look at number 5. Having meat-free meals during the week incorporate dried beans, nuts, and seeds into your menus. Dried beans are an excellent source of protein, are high in fiber and low in fat, and have zero cholesterol. Now the number six point is. Switching to low-fat dairy products schemed milk or low-fat cheeses are good sources of vitamins and minerals as well as calcium, without the unnecessary fats. If you don't drink milk, look for other sources of calcium, such as iceberg lettuce, oranges, and almonds. Hope you got it. Come to the next one. Number 6. Iron, vitamins, and dietary supplements People with bleeding disorders need to maintain normal blood volume and blood cell production. The main nutrients involved in red blood cell production are iron, protein, copper, vitamin C, vitamin B12, vitamin B6 and folic acid vitamin E is also involved in red blood cell production, but it can increase the risk of bleeding in high doses. It's natural to eat a piece of cake at a party, but remember to compensate with fresh vegetables at your next meal. So this was a little discussion on the nutrition of hemophilia. Hope you got people had got all points and important lecture on the nutrition of hemophilia. Please drop yours kind review and if you people find any type of question in your mind or want to ask more about hemophilia, then ask me freely. Stay in touch. 
Dear viewer don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get our medicals and pharmaceutical videos regularly. See you in the next lecture. Goodbye.